On 2 News at 5 in HD, an emotional day of testimony in the trial of a jinx teenager accused of killing his girlfriend. Theo Fleming faces second-degree murder charges for the death of Caitlin Finnegan. 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck spent the day in the courtroom and is now live downtown. Casey joins us with the newest information. Casey? Well, the state's last witness is on the stand right now. This has by far been the most emotional day in this trial. At some points throughout the day, both Caitlin's family and Theo Fleming were in tears. 21-year-old Brody Granger was the first witness of the day. He is Theo Fleming's best friend. His family lives at the home where Caitlin was shot. Granger is currently serving prison time on charges unrelated to Caitlin's death. Granger testified that he stepped onto the back porch to make a call. Seconds later, he heard a shot, ran back inside, and saw Caitlin sitting up on her knees, looking Granger in the eye just before she fell to the floor. Theo Fleming started screaming. For the first time since the trial began, Fleming broke down, crying, as did Caitlin's family. Family. Granger and the following witness, Dylan Bilby, contradicted the earlier testimony of Alex Hard, who was in the room when the shooting happened. Dilby testified to having conversations with Alex Hard, in which Hard told them Caitlin and Theo were arguing in the moments before the shooting because Theo wanted to shoot Dylan for beating him up the day before. Theo said, quote, I should pop her, in which Alex said, I bet you won't. And Theo responded, bet that, and then fired a shot into Caitlin's chest. That testimony is a major blow to the defense that has insisted the shooting was a tragic accident. And the defense is expected to start presenting its case tonight. Still no word on whether Fleming will testify. Reporting live in downtown, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.